Alright, we are back for another episode of SmackDown vs. Raw 2008. Let's get right into it by taking a look at these messages. We got two. One from the medical staff saying, Test suggests that you are increasing your risk of injury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that nonsense. In time to meet the other contender. I hope you're ready to take on some top-notch competition. This week you're going to meet Dykstra one-on-one -on -one in the ring. Not only is he tough as nails, he's the number two contender for your championship. I hope you're up to the challenge. Oh, also, I wouldn't get too close for comfort with Masters. I doubt the two of you have seen the last of each other. Good luck, coach. Alright, so let's read this magazine now. Is it over for two heartthrobs? It seems like not even WWE superstars can escape rumors and scandals that have plagued so many celebrities in recent years. Some say that Candice and Masters have called it quits, while some say the two still have strong feelings for each other. Still others say that they're that both are true, and that the couple has broken up can continue, but continue to share an emotional bond. Add into the speculation of rumors that Candice has secretly formed an alliance of sorts with Champ Edge behind Masters' back. Nobody's saying anything outside of the ring though, and the action in the ring has been inconclusive and confusing to, f to fellow superstars and Raw fans alike. Stay tuned for the latest twists and turns in the story as details become available. Alright. Anyway. One more thing I actually want to check. Health report. Fatigue is actually very low, so... We will... I will now do some training exercises. Simulate. Let's do another one on Wednesday here. Let's just keep doing a whole bunch of training. Stamina is always fun. It always well, fun. Always good to have. It's not fun having low stamina. No, not events and activities. I always go to that for some reason. Um, submission. Submission is always good to have too. Even as, as little as I use submissions, I'm pretty sure submissions. Oh, what's going on here? Cutscene, a random cutscene. Huh. I didn't know this was gonna happen. Yeah, so I think it's only a matter of time before that goes around mine. I'm not sure the champ was meant to hear that. What are you doing with her? And you've got the nerve to accuse me of fooling around? Whoa, hold on. <laughs> Calm down. Oh shit! You just spilled the fucking Chinese food! That's your idea that guy's a man, huh? Masters! Come on, we're leaving. I can't believe it, Jimmy. Oh, fuck you, Masters. The just laid out the champ. You just spilled the fucking Chinese food! You, you don't fucking spill Chinese food like that and get away with it, you son of a bitch! Just wait till I get my hands on you next time. I'm gonna pay back. I'm gonna get revenge for that Chinese food. That wasn't right. You don't do that. You just, you don't do that. Who is this from? Coach? I heard about your backstage brawl with your number one contender, and I wasn't happy about it. I can't afford for either of you to get hurt before vengeance. I want you two to stay away from each other this week. Understand? Oh, I don't know. He spilled Chinese food. My girl's acting weird lately. It's not your girl. And word is, you're the reason. No, I'm not the reason. Real close, punk. You stay away from her, or I'll do more than just take your championship from you once I become the number one contender. You really, uh, Masters, you really think you're going to take my champion? Oh, my. If guys like Batista, Triple H, John Cena, Umaga, fucking... Nameless others couldn't take my title. Do you really think you can, Masters? Like, truthfully. What's this? Candidate, see you soon. Hey there, it's me. I just got the okay to accompany you to ringside in your match this week. Fine. So I'll see you out there. And hopefully before. No, I don't I think so. I'm sure you do, Candice, but, uh... 
sure you do. All right, let's go to Raw. What do we have? We're facing, uh, if I remember correctly, we're facing Dykstra. Yes. Of course we want to play as Edge. Why wouldn't I want to play as Edge? That's not even... I mean, like I think I've said in a past episode, they, you could easily make every match be like literally 10 seconds by playing as your opponent and getting him DQ'd so that way you still win the match, yet... You know, you don't have to do anything, and you'll be victorious every single time. The only time that doesn't work is, of course, in no DQ matches. But still, nonetheless, 85% of the time, it would probably work. You think you well, I'm looking forward to seeing the champ doing his fighting inside the ring for a change. I bet he's thinking the same thing, JR. He definitely got the worst of that little backstage scuffle we heard about earlier. I can't spin my title. This isn't fair. If you guys have seen any of the videos and watched the entrances before, you've seen that I'm always spinning the title just for the hell of it. I wouldn't let me. It's hard to separate back from Sydney. But it seems like. She's decided to dump the number one contender for the champ. And nobody! That's what I call trading up. But the champ better be careful. Nobody. If he loses his title... Shut up, King. I'm trying to sing the song here. Yo, body! Yep, okay, I'll, not, I'll stop singing that song now. As we gotta take on Kenny Dykstra. Even though I've already beat him before in the past. Yeah, that, that's what Kenny Dykstra is jealous of. Mm -hmm. Either way, I've beat Kenny Dykstra in the past. In title matches, in non-title matches. So, I mean, he's not going to be a threat to me in this one at all. Not even one ounce of him is a threat to me. Like, no matter what he does, he's not going to be able to beat me. I mean, the last time I faced him, he was reversing everything I did. This time, that's not the case, so. Or maybe it is the case. I don't know. He just started reversing, but last time, he was literally reversing every move I did to him. Whether it be regular moves, whether it be finishers, whether it be grapple moves, or it be running moves, he was reversing every little thing ever. Big DDT. As Candice is just out there cheering me on. Even though she won't get involved in the match, so I mean, she's kind of pointless in that sense. That, you know, you, she won't even help me win. No matter what. You really think you're gonna hit this? Really? Don't think so. Big DDT. Ooh! Right to the groin. Which, if this was No Mercy or any of those type of games, the little bells would have been ringing. I like. I love those little bells. Those were really like my favorite thing ever. Those little bells when you hit someone in the groin. Those were always fun. I think I've actually talked about those little bells before in a very old SmackDown video. SmackDown vs. Raw video. Taking him right down. Come here, Kenny. Ooh! Big knee to the gut. Right by Kenny Dykstra. So, how do you think this one's gonna turn out, JR? Honestly, King, I have absolutely no Grab that leg. Anything can happen here in the WWE. Let's pick him up. You've got to have a guess, right? I'm, I'm here we go. I think Kenny's gonna all be done. He's all fired up now, King. And I'd hate to be on the receiving end. I don't know if his opponent has what it takes One. to One. Two. Oh, only a two. I'm arguing with the ref. Fool some of the people 
people all of the time and all the people some of the time but there's no food let's try it again perfectly. he may get the three count here one no really I tell you King sometimes I get exhausted just watching these super god damn it compete. I know what you mean JR I don't think most people appreciate what incredible no 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 please no oh you've got to have some excellent conditioning those fi those once I get put into a submission, I literally get worried that I'm gonna lose, no matter how early in the match it is. Oh, that's a lovely image, King. I'd ask you where you come up. Oh, for the love of open your eyes. I can't believe he got away with that. Well, you might not like it, JR. Yeah, it's a bit absurd that he got away with that. Ow. What the fuck do you think you're doing, Kenny? Was with that all male cheerleading squad, the Three. spirit squad. Get back in there. Not that that's a bad thing. Yes. Come on. I bet you thought about being a male cheerleader for OU, waving those pom poms and grinning like an idiot. We didn't have male cheerleaders in Oklahoma King, but that uh, ten to one female to male ratio was uh, pretty tempting. I think this crowd has decided. All right, let's go for a pin. There's no way. I think we got it. I think I have it. One, two. Oh, really? Kenny Dystra has kicked out of two finishers. It doesn't appear that Edge is getting what about now? This crowd the pin. One. One. Nope. Wasn't even a two. Well, it was a two technically, but they didn't count it as one. I've got a feeling that for some strange reason. Of an instant classic. That's probably just gas, JR. <laughs> well, I did have some good on the barbecue. You know what? Fine. If my little... I'll just have to give him a spear. That other finisher doesn't seem to be working. A little execution. The execution doesn't seem to be working. So a spear is how we have to end this match. A spear will work. 100% fine. One. Two. Three. Kenny Dykstra has been taken out. Just like I knew he would. Little bit Took a little bit longer than I would have expected. But... Somehow he managed to kick out of two finishers. I don't know how he did it, but he did. Somehow. Some way. I didn't like it, though. Oh, here's Masters. Oh, man. How did I know we'd be seeing him here tonight? If you ask me, the champ's lucky he waited until after the match. I think the champ is inviting him. Oh, I'm going to get attacked by Kenny, ain't I? Aren't I? I ain't. Nope. We've already oh okay good you said again. I was gonna say we've already went head to head, but then he added the again part, so I didn't have to you know correct King on that one. All right, that is gonna do it for this episode of SmackDown vs. Rock 2008. Everybody, when we come back, we'll take a look at these messages. Which I'm presuming there's probably going to be one from Coach, one from Masters, and who knows what else will be on there.